my northern farm. Today I'm gonna try making squash bread using the squash flour that I made. I don't know if it's ever been done. I know uh, watching a few videos on the squash flour when anybody ever baked with it they added to regular flour but uh, I made the squash pizza crust and it seemed to work so I'm gonna use a half a cup of squash flour that I made two days ago, six eggs, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Let's get mixing. So I'm gonna put in the six eggs. Before I add the squash flour, I'm gonna stir these up a little bit, beat them up. Gonna add the teaspoon of baking soda. Mix that in the egg a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the squash flour, so hope for the best that this works because I just wasted all that time making this flour. So here we go. Gonna mix it in really good. And then let it sit for a couple minutes to hydrate. It smells good. You can really smell the butternut. I can feel it thicken up from it hydrating. So I bought this squash and it was about six or seven bucks, I can't remember, or my wife bought it. So, because I don't have any. So in the summertime, I like to grow a bunch and make enough flour for the winter at least. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. So it's been about six or seven minutes. Look how thick that got. It's like puffing out and everything. So, I'm gonna get that into the pan. Hopefully I didn't mess it up because it was puffier. And then when I stuck it in, it kind of uh, compressed together a little bit. So I, hopefully it'll puff up again. I have it in the oven now. I preheated it to 350. So I'll keep it in there for at least a half an hour. Then check on it. So it took 25 minutes to cook. Now, I think uh, when I mixed the butternut squash flour into the egg, I should have poured it right into the bread pan because uh, when I went back six, seven minutes later and I stirred it up, it was really fluffy and it kind of fell when I messed with it. And then I stuck it in the pan hoping that it would rise again. And it might have a bit, but I think it might have been bigger if I just would have poured it in right away. So I'm gonna cut it now and see how it looks. Well, it's still airy. It smells good. I'm gonna try it two different ways. Try a dab of peanut butter. 
on it. And actually, I guess I should try it without. Tastes like bread. It almost has like a whole wheat taste. Sweet. I'm gonna try with the peanut butter. Yeah, I could live without normal white bread. This would be good. No carb. I'm gonna try with a piece of pepperoni on it. Almost has a nutty flavor. So again, that was butternut squash, zucchini, and a little bit of spaghetti squash mixed together into a flour. So I originally used six eggs, half a cup of squash flour, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And the only reason why I used half a cup of uh, squash flour is because that's all I had. I didn't get very much out of that squash and zucchini that I uh, dehydrated. So I'm going to buy some more squashes just so I can get this uh, recipe good that I like it. Just uh, they're expensive to buy in the store right now. But uh, I'm going to switch it to eight eggs, one cup of squash flour, and it's still a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. But if you guys have a lot of extra squashes laying around in your cold room and they're starting to go bad, or you just have extra, make some squash flour, try it out. Um, and if you try this bread recipe or the pizza recipe, let me know what you think of it. And just come back to this video and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.